What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Luna Figs. What do you say we head inside this Walmart and do a little toy hunt? Prepare for launch. <laughs> Okay, starting off in Transformers, got some Earth Spark, Alita One, Megatron, got Terran Twitch, got Skull Grin and RC, Crankcase, and a dead end up here. And I uh, got G Axis. There's Optimus Prime and Galvatron. So yeah, Transformers looking pretty good. There's Ironhide and Junk Heap, Sludge. And we've got some dinosaurs over here. And Ninja Turtles. Looks like we've got all the stored shell turtles. And the Ninja Elite. Yeah, that's all the storage shells. And the pizza tossers. And some more dinos. And still got this Miss Marvel with the uh, incorrect build a figure piece. There's Peter Parker back there. And we got the Gujitsu's jumping off the shelves. We got some Guardians up here. What if? And some Black Panther and Disney Plus figures. Got, got some Dungeons and Dragons. Got the DC Multiverse. Red Robin. Got uh, the Joker. DC versus Vampires. I know a lot of people are looking for that one still. We got. Black Snipe Batman and a uh, Black Ranger. We've got uh, Cassian in his Aldani mission disguise and Lando's and Leia's. We've got the Credit Collection Boba Fett and there's Obi Wan and there's the Black Series of Andor in the Aldani mission. And the Imperial Officer. Then we got the Grand Inquisitor. A lot of one jacks. Like a whole lot of one jacks. <laughs> That's weird because I picked one jack up on Clarence a few months ago. And I had somebody reach out to me and say they can't find the speeder bike anywhere. And here are five of them hanging <laughs> on the peg right here. So I don't know if that's just a regional thing or what. <laughs> but uh, we got some wrestling over here. There's Randy Orton, Hangman Adam Page, MJF, Drew McIntyre, Bianca Belair. Uh, got some Masters of the Universe. Uh, just met a uh, fellow collector, Jason, if you're watching. Shout out to you, it's good talking to you. Uh, we're talking about Masters of the Universe and a little bit of FOMO and how to just really not let that get to you because that just really sucks the joy out of collecting. But it was good to meet him and have a little conversation. Uh, we've got some Joes down here. We've got Snake Eyes and Timber, uh, Croc Master and Fiona. Like Croc Master, I bought this the second it came out because I'm like, oh, I'll never see it again. And here's like 12 of them <laughs> right here. Uh, let's see, we've got some lightsabers in the way. We've got Spirit, Lady J, got the Cobra Officer, uh, Storm Shadow. Just a really weird restock of that wave all of a sudden. Uh, got some more wrestlers up here. And got Gung Ho, Lady J on the retro cards. Still haven't seen uh, Carnage, Storm Shadow, or Zartan yet. Do got some uh, Lightning Collection. Green Ranger, there's the Yellow Ranger. 
Black Ranger. And I got the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And some Bandai stuff. And uh, some Demon Slayer figures. Looks like, oh, there's one I haven't seen yet. Here, if I can get back there. Yeah. Mizuko Kamado. I recognize her. It's the first time seeing that one. We've got a couple Fortnite figures. There's the Ghost Tientina, Meow Spoles, Bush Ranger, Aerial Assault Trooper. And there's Punk back there. So yeah, nice little array of Fortnite figures. Let's go see what else we can find. Taking a look at Lego now, we got Ant-Man. We got some uh, botanical collection up here. And Jago, there's the Galaxy Explorer 90 year anniversary one. There's the Bat Cycle and the Goat Boat. There's the Batmobile, some Marvel stuff. And got Harry Potter, Minecraft, some dinosaurs. Nice little selection. Looks like we've got a couple of rollbacks going on. There's Harry Potter and the creators. And we've got the poly bags, the friends flowers, the Doctor Strange portal. This was pretty popular. I've seen a lot of Lego groups really excited about this one. I picked one up the other day. And we got the Quidditch. Practice, that's pretty cool. Uh, got the Cozy House from Creator. Got some friend sets. There's the Executor. This is getting harder and harder to find, but they got four of them here. So, uh, I know that one's very popular. It is very cool. We got Lego City. And got some Technic. And some Speed Champions. And this one again, very popular. Uh, Evidently, it's hard to find, although I keep seeing it everywhere. So, again, might be a regional thing or just distributions not getting it out as fast as people would like. We've got Star Wars. Looks like they've been freshly restocked on Star Wars. Looks like they've got the, a lot of the new sets. Yeah, they got both the old diorama pieces from Return of the Jedi that just came out. There's the Snub Fighter. So uh, yeah, Lego is looking pretty good today. Uh, let's go check out Diecast now. Looking at Diecast, I uh, got some M2s over here. There's some Harleys. There's Clipper Cargo. Got a B&M Racing. Some M2s. Some NASCAR stuff. Yeah, we got the Majorettes. Still very nice looking vehicles there. Very impressed with this line. And got some muscle machines. Got a uh, <laughs> from Kung Fu Panda. That's a neat little van there. Got Disney 100. And some Starship Selects. And Batman. Oh, and there's Duke and the Vamp. Uh, if you watched Monday's video, you'll see where uh, my brother found this in his attic. 
I'm going to do my best to restore it. <laughs> and got some hot wheels skate. And some tech deck. Got light year and cars, Mario Kart. Got some monster trucks over here. And down here we got Matchbox. 70 years of Matchbox. Some super rigs. I don't think I've seen that one before. And we've got the 70th Corvette series. And then we got Hot Wheels down here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Box is pretty full down here as well. That is going to do it for diecast. Let's head over to collectibles, see what's over there. Over in collectibles, check it out, NECA. We've got a uh, Utram and Renette. There's Dot Brown. And some unarmored Blast Ronins. Quite a few of those. And the never ending supply of Splinter and Shredder over here. <laughs> got Goliath and uh, the big old Cygor oh, we got Slash over here along with Strike from uh, Loyal Subjects got a couple Gundam and more Loyal Subjects up here Leo and Aang Edward. Oh, there's Stripe again. And there's Overhaul and Hawks for my hero. There's Victor Crawley, Beerus, Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken times 10 Goku. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. And we got some uh, golds up here. They're marked down to seven bucks. Still got all of these uh, Athenas. Lots and lots of those. Oh, we have Batman from the Flash movie. It's pretty cool. Looks like it's got a little bit of a battle damage on his cow or something. It's the Walmart exclusive one. And then we got Luke Skywalker down here. We got some 10 inch golds. And we'll check out the end cap over here. There's the Flash and Grogu and Thor. Got the Obi Wan Kenobi 5 pack. And over here, there's Ned from No Way Home. America Chavez. It's a convention exclusive. Jeremy Jam, another ex exclusive. There's Mike from Stranger Things. There's Bam Bam Bigelow, Glow in the Dark. Uh, Wonder Woman Black Lantern. That's pretty cool. Stormtrooper. There's the Black Rabbit from Netflix's Pinocchio. So yeah, some pretty cool looking pops. I do believe that is going to do it for today. Let's go head up to the car. And that does it for this Walmart toy hunt. Uh, it is a decent toy hunt. Saw a few things in there. Uh, didn't pick anything up. Uh, nothing I was particularly after today. But uh, still, some cool stuff in there. Uh, Legos looking good. Uh, Transformers, strong, strong showing in there. Uh, Star Wars, they had some stuff. 
nothing I'm really after. They did have a couple of the new Andor Black Series figures. Not really interested in those too much. Uh, they did have the that one uh, Andor uh, Vintage Collection. Again, not interested. Uh, what else? Uh, a lot of wrestling. Uh, some uh, pretty cool uh, Demon Slayer figures. I've been seeing those around. I uh, saw a few new ones that I hadn't seen before. But uh, yeah, the action figures were looking pretty strong. Die cast looking good. Uh, a lot of uh, NASCAR, uh, Hot Wheels had a nice selection. So all in all, not bad. Not bad, Walmart. Uh, not a ton of new stuff, but just enough. Just enough to keep you interested, I guess. Uh, collectibles had a few new pops over there. Uh, so that was good to see. But uh, all in all, it was a fun hunt. Uh, as I mentioned, I ran into uh, Jason uh, while I was filming. So great to meet him. Uh, always love meeting fellow collectors and uh, talking things out. Uh, we were having a little discussion about uh, playing the waiting game and how FOMO can play into that. But uh, yeah, you just gotta remember it's a hobby. It's all fun. If you miss out on something, it's not gonna destroy your life or anything. It's just, oh well, you just a piece of plastic that's not gonna be sitting on your shelf. But uh, just gotta keep it all in perspective. Anyways, uh, that's all I got for today. Uh, if you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. On my way to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, but I can't do it without your help. But that's it for today. I will see you guys next time around.